Welcome, everyone. I hope you're all doing well. Ladies and gentlemen, let me say hello to E and to Random Stuff. E says, hey. Random Stuff says, hello. Random Stuff st says, a bit of an early stream so I can watch without being in bed. Yep, I'm experimenting with a new format, my friend. Basically, now what I'm doing is I'm actually trying to increase views by, uh, which will help me get monetized for the third time on YouTube. And uh, that way, uh, hopefully, I can help refinance the channel and do a lot of cool stuff, like giveaways and stuff like that. So, new times, slightly earlier than what you guys might use, be, been used to. And the game we're playing today is Mega Man 7, one of my favorites. Oh, I love this game. Oh, hold on. Let me just let me just re re set the comments up here. Ah, it's just unimportant people saying stuff, so we don't really care about the comments. Only kidding, of course. Um, Arctum Silver, how's it going, my friend? Hope you're doing well. Good to see you all. So yeah, now what I'm going to do from now on, I'm going to try and pre-announce the streams as early as possible set them all up post them in my social media some discord groups and stuff like that so if you see some new people drop by make them feel welcomed treat them how you would want to be treated and i'm going to concentrate on 10 separate games so the Mega Man franchise uh, some fortnite um, maybe some roblox some minecraft and then Cuphead and so on and so forth. Uh, you should turn slow mode down to 10 seconds or 5 seconds. 25 seconds is a lot. E, you know why I did that? S to encourage people to write full sentences like you're doing. You should play Mario. Uh, that's me and my brother's favorite game. Well, do. If it's a classic Mario, definitely. Let me just turn slow mode down. It is a request from E, and we appreciate what E says or suggests. How about I meet you halfway and we'll do 15 seconds. Let me save that up. Right, I don't know if you guys can see it now, but the idea is that it's a 15 second stop. Um, I might have Corona, guys, just on a side note. I don't really feel all that bad, but I had a, a, I did five tests. One of the tests came back positive. So the doctor says I need to wait until tomorrow, but they says it can be a faulty test or um, it can be just like similar symptoms of just having a simple flu. Uh, whatever it is, I'm, I'm making good use of the time and chilling with you guys. So hopefully we'll have a cool stream today for the next hour or two or so might put this up here there we go all right let's get into it ah my my cucumber water has been served yeah hope you get better oh thank you so much um yeah not really not really like anything serious i've had it before and i really didn't notice anything but you know, I'm gonna I'm gonna stay home. I'm not gonna like bother with uh, anybody. It's it's definitely a cold or a fluish kind of thing. Um, but it is what it is. It's not that big a deal. Guys, did anyone watch UFC 300? It was amazing. Don't know if anyone follows that, but I really enjoyed it. It looked absolutely uh, amazing. The highlights, and then I ended up watching some. Uh, a trial run on UFC Fight Pass and then just watching one or two of the fights. It was pretty cool. All right, guys, let's see. So this guy here on the, the right, that's me, right? I'm the hero. That's, that's Kareem, AKA Mega Man. And that guy who looks like Albert Einstein, he's based on Albert Einstein. That's, that's Dr. Wiley, he's a bad guy. Uh, the story with Mega Man is quite simple. Dr. Wiley is out to make Dr. Light, who's based on, on Nikola Tesla, Tesla 
uh, Nikolai Tesla. He's out to make his life as hard as possible. That's the story, basically. And both of them are scientists and they invent robots. Dr. Light created Mega Man to make life better for humans. And Dr. Wily wants to rule mankind. So you see, that's where the robots cancel each other out. So, there's a lot of bad dudes out there. On the left and the right of the screen, you'll see who it is we'll be we're going up against. Now, I forget which order you should play this game in, but that's what we're here to play today. That's why, why we're here to play it. It's a classic. I want to revisit it. It's got a lot of hidden gems. It took three months to develop, as far as I remember. They rushed to develop this game, and they created one of the most beautiful soundtracks that I've ever heard in any game. I put it up there with Cuphead. Um... Mega Man 2. Some of the Roblox music, I'll be fair. There has been nothing good these past days, random stuff says. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that, my friend. A lot has changed since the last stream that I had watched. That's why I haven't watched in a while. Ah. Tell us what has changed, my friend. Let's get this game on the road. Night Stalker says hello, beautiful. Never know who she's talking about when she says that. Welcome back. I heard you were in Serbia and you had a great time. How are your cats? I hope your cats are well. E says, that's why I haven't watched in a while. But you know what, E? The main thing is, is that you're doing well. As long as you're healthy, happy or you can find a you know happiness somewhere that is the most important thing there we go Mega Man's got the wrong helmet he's got that eggshell helmet personally I kind of like the other one yeah yeah whatever right now it's time to get the helmet da -da. Oh, I love Mega Man. Good luck, Mega Man. Wait. I am not in control of the game thus far. He's kind of doing everything he wants. There's Dr. Light, Nikola Tesla, who's also Serbian, just like you. Uh, wait, what's Nikola Tesla? Yeah, he was Serbian, right? Just like you, Night Stalker. Two great minds. Oh, he has moved to Georgia. Georgia, the state, I assume, right? Not, not the country. I no longer live in Florida. Ah. I got a PlayStation. Nice. Congrats. And a laptop so I can do more multiplayer stuff with you. Hey. Let's go for it. Oh, Cryo. Cryo's... A message from Cryo just popped up. Cryo's in the building. I don't know how or in which way. That's new. I've never seen that. But YouTube gets it right. I need to know when Cryo's out and about. So, this is the X Buster. You charge up, and then you let go, and of course the hit is harder. Oh! Guys, I am so sorry. Let me just do something real quick. This will take one second. I forgot. The fam's over on Twitch, and I don't have Twitch activated. So let me just uh, quickly add to Twitch. God bless Twitch people. Yeah, they don't know any better. They don't. They don't know to come over here. Enjoy the join the cool gang, right? So we have to cater to their needs. There we go. And make a buster. There we go. Right. So just adding that in real quick. There. Start stream. Start stream over on Twitch. 
go live. There we go. Give give the fans over on Twitch something, you know. Give the betas something. I'm only kidding. I'm only kidding. I like to... Whoops. All right. So, hold on. That was not something I was supposed to press. All my YouTube videos is most likely Friday Night Funkin' random stuff says. Is that what your channel's specialising in? Oh, that is also cool that when you stream on Twitch, it shows the comments up at the top right. Oh, there's the better males. You got me. There we go. Easy peckings. Kind of my all, uh, kind of my whole thing. Random stuff says. In regards to uh, Five Nights at Freddy. No, sorry. Friday Night Funkin', right? It's not Five Nights at Freddy. There was an A missing there, so I assume... Oh, I injured him. Good, that's a good start. You are as good as they say, Mega Man. You, you better tell me who you are. I'm Bass, and he's Treble. <coughs> excuse, excuse me for the voice acting there, but that's just how I assume they sound in real life. Fun fact: Mega Man's actually called the Rock Man, or how the ja I love it the way the Japanese pronounce it, Orokuman. We have been trying to stop Dr. Wily while you were gone. I don't know why he sounds like Christian Bale's Batman now, but yeah. I see now that you don't need our help. Actually, I could use your help. You're pretty freaking good. That guy can double jump. He can shoot in every direction. Ah, uh, random. Thanks for, for clearing that up. There you go, guys. Steal the password. There's an unlockable option here to fight against base. That's who we were just fighting against. The guy in the, the dark grey armour. He's pretty cool. I love... My favourite game of all time is Rockman in base. Just has a nostalgic value for me. I thought I'd played all Mega Man related games. And then I found that gem. It was only available in Japan. And I fell in love with it. So I've always, always adored it. So I think I'll start with this guy here. And we'll see how it goes. Night Stalker says, when are we going to hang out? Ooh, I hope... Oh, listen to this soundtrack. I hope soon. I'm going to Korea soon. So when I get back from Korea... This will be my, my fifth time going to Korea. I absolutely love Korea. Ooh, look at that timing. Right, so... Uh, I know what some of you are thinking. Kareem, why are you so bad at other games and you're so good at this one? Right, how do I choose... There we go. Let's see if... Uh... I forgot to switch. Ah, I don't... Wait, I don't need to... Alright, that's... Okay, let me save the checkpoint first of all. Oh, I thought you went already. Yeah, I did! I was there not long ago, but I'm going to go again. Random stuff says, you're not bad at other games, it just takes practice. 
Ah, thank you so much. Well, Mega Man games are classically supposed to be very hard. And I've always uh, pride myself being good at Mega Man. And any game that I like, really. And there's, there's no game I like more than a, a good old-fashioned Mega Man game. The soundtracks are just amazing. How long are you staying? Um, most probably about two weeks, three weeks. It depends on some other factors. I'll tell you all about that later. Oh, nice. A life, an extra life. I have to be careful. I don't want to bang it against those spikes up at the top there because that's instant death. By the way, did you tell me already how your cats are? Yeah, it's not too long, to be honest. I wouldn't mind going longer. But... I'm not a huge fan of... of uh, traveling outside the country for longer periods of time, although I like to do it often. Uh, do the bubbles harm you? Uh... Oh! The spikes, dude. <laughs> the bubbles are alright. Ah, okay, now I got it. I was supposed to do that jump without the water. Tell me, how are your cats? It's the most important piece of information that I'm going to receive today. Right, let's see. Let's get my dog out. Uh. Oh, I can leave him out though. Why is this game giving me Sonic vibes? Fun fact, same producers worked on both games. Now, you might be saying, well, one of them is Nintendo and the other is Sega, right? But, a lot of the producers went from Nintendo over to Sega. And uh, both of them have the same color palette. But Sonic came out way, way later. I actually have a Sonic game that is multiplayer. It's an old Sonic game that's a classic. I think it's Sonic Adventures 2. All right, so this, this here, right, for those of you that don't know, do you see at the right of my screen, the right part of my screen, it has the letter R. I need another three letters. U-S-H. Romeo Uniform Sierra Hotel. That spells rush. What does that mean? It means I get a super cool armor that came out in Sonic 6. And that will allow me to fly. Even though it's just short distances and whatnot, but it's still a pretty cool armor to have. Right, so here patience is key. I don't want to overstep at any time. Almost there, almost at the end. This is probably my least favorite song in this whole game, but it's still epic. Right, 
Oh, I'm taking this guy. I'm. I have three lives. I have a full health bar. Let's go. I'm going to beat him this round. Oh, spikes up at the top and bouncy bubbles. That was close, that was close, that was close. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Ah. Oof. My poor, my poor arm, my muscular arm, my amazing biceps. Hold on, let me read this comment here. Uh, my brother likes the game Splatoon, Borderlands, Mario Sonic, and a new game that came out called Hawked. Is Hawked that tank game? Where the tanks blow each other up? I think it is, right? Or am I am I uh, mixing it up with something? All right. Just had a quick drink of water. Breathe in, breathe out. Reach that 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 place of tranquility. Mm, it's a shooting game that you need to do puzzles and escape. Okay, got you. Ah, that was close. One hit, one hit KO. And I was doing so well in that round as well. I have the feeling I should have started with the ice guy. Wait, is this guy war based or whose level am I in? It seems like he's a war based level, but it's more like bubble orientated. What? Thankfully, he's going for another attack pattern. Oh, this is going to hurt my arm. Ah. Oh. Oof. You got this, third time's a charm. Uh, let's make that fourth time. I was so confident going into this fight, I don't have any lives left. Alright. God, I'm not so confident anymore. But, we'll, we'll say that's the warm-up level. Yeah. By the way guys, check out Physical 100. Oh, it's my favourite show right now. Wow, okay, I think I've got a tactic to beat him. Ah, oh, almost had it, almost had it. That was going really well. I was leading that. All right. That was the warm-up round. Let's let's just leave it at that. You say that and nearly die. Uh, I know. Whew. Right. Never mind you. <laughs> you did. <laughs> Seventeenth times a charm. Right. So this guy was good, but I'm going to go to this guy. I think that's the ice-based villain. And historically, you should always start with the ice-based villain. And everything that is 
related to Mega Man. So we're going to take the ice based villain. Freeze Man. Pretty. Oh, 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 look at the gesture he's making. If I'm not mistaken, I'm going to fight a polar bear here. Okay, I don't know what that is. It wasn't a polar bear. Catch these paws. There we go. Nice. Now this is how you know the game is underdeveloped. There's no opponents here. There should have been. But they just forgot to add them in because they were rushing the game. Very simple. Fun fact, if you eat a polar bear's liver, you'll die with an overdose of vitamin A. They're also pretty brutal, eh? Polar bears. Not like brown bears that you can actually have as friends. Ah, oh, are you kidding me? <sighs> right, I'm going to have to rush that back to that point. I did a really good uh, mod on FNF. Uh, you can post it in the Discord. Are you a member of the Discord group? You are, aren't you? You can promote it there, and then at least it will get some views. But don't expect any views from anyone. That's that's the reality. That's the harsh reality when you create content. The marketing is like 50%, and if you're just concentrating on being an artist, then you're not going to reach the biggest audiences unless it's by chance or luck. I don't know if you guys know the German dude who used to come. I don't think I would um, it would allow to join your Discord. You mean the link or you? Because you're welcome to join if you're under age you need your parents permission and you can't DM anyone. Um, does anyone remember Finn and Show? He ended up becoming like a content creator and he did like different types of animations. Uh, where do I get the link? Let's see. Is anyone in the chat also in my Discord? Could they link it to him? If not, I will. I just need to put the game on hold. There we go. Not too bad thus far. Let's see what's up here. Aha! Uh -huh. That was the most useless news of that ever. Well, let me see. Alright, hold on. Secret. No, no secrets here. We'll make sure you get the link. Bear with me as I just beat this guy up real quick. 
look at the dinosaurs in the background. Rex would love this. Uh oh, that's not good. That was bad, that was terrible. All right. Let me get you the link real quick, yeah? I'm gonna put the microphone on hold for a second. Bear with me, guys. As I, uh, why did I just hear Arnold? Get to the chopper. I'm gonna put the microphone on mute for a second and then I'll get you the link. It'll take two minutes, yeah? Right, so I've been trying to generate this link for like five minutes now. Uh, or send a server invite link to a friend. Okay, let me try and see if this works. The silence is too loud. Try this. Maybe this will work. Let me know if you can access that. If not, what I'll try and do is get you another uh, Discord link later on. All right. Guys, also, if you can, don't forget to, to give it a like. And most importantly, give it a share. There we go. Right, let's go. Was I supposed to go down? Ah, yeah, I was. This is the second level in this game that has 
Whoa. Dinosaur themed attractions. Yeah, I'm in now. Ah, perfect. So it was worth it. There we go. Nice. What was that again? Rush search. So basically, we can search for stuff. Okay. That was a waste of time. I'm that bored, I might get my school iPad and play Roblox as well as being in the stream. <gasps> my god, the stream's making him so bored. Nah, I'm only kidding, that's not what he said. He said the stream's so amazing that I've motivated him to play Roblox. Right, he's not finding anything there. So, I'm just going to continue here. There we go, that was the tough one. I got through that. And now I'm going to use a little doggy here. See if we can find something, maybe a dinosaur that I can use. Uh huh. Ooh, don't mind if I do. Ah, uh, it's just school making me bored 24-7. Yeah, I feel you. Right, now I've got this pattern worked out. Wow, this is this guy's tough. All right, don't mess this up. There we go. Energy refill. Oh, that was close. Don't make a mistake. So. Better be careful when you're jo- What was that? Thankfully my amazing reaction time had me covered. That came out of nowhere. I think there's something here if I remember years ago. Alright, obviously that's not what I was looking for. Let's put him here. I'm starting to feel this dog's useless, but okay. Let's see if we can find something here. Ugh, get out of my way. Right. So. I have zero lives, but I do have an energy booster. But basically, I just have to like read the patterns patterns as soon as possible. My iPad was six percent. Are you watching on your mobile or iPad? Uh huh. Oh. Activated the whole steam. Right. Where was it? There we go. Energy booster. Ah. Hmm. 
Yeah. Here we go. Oh, it's going to be tight. No! Ah! Almost had him. There's a F Five Nights at Freddy Tower defense on Roblox. Sure. In the Discord, uh, people can like tell me what it is they want to play for the weekend. Yakuza seems to be a big thing that people want to play. Let's see if I can buy some uh, some upgrades. Let's see if these will do any good. Oh, I've got twenty dollars. What can I buy for twenty dollars? Okay, he talks so much. He doesn't have anything for twenty dollars. Okay, never mind. Oof. I need freeze guy. I need to beat him first. Right, I still have all the upgrades that I found in his level. I have learned from my mistakes. There we go. Looking a lot sharper now. a lot faster. Whoa. Careful here, this jump here could mess up everything. I got that, I didn't expect to catch it. So those little bolts are like in-game currency. Saving, very nice. I can actually jump over this guy. I'm thinking of doing maybe a Roblox stream this coming Saturday. Or Friday. I don't know which is more popular because Roblox is not a game that I would normally play by myself. Obviously, I only play it so that I can play it with you guys. But thanks for the heads up on that game, the Five Nights at Freddy Tower Defense. <laughs> oh, barely made it. There we go. Ooh, that was close. But I like there's another energy ch tank there. There we go.
I'm not going to waste my time. I'm going to choose Rush to help me get up there. There. Why? Why do it hard when you can do it easy? Oh, those bomber heads. But I haven't lost a life thus far, so... Alright, I won't be able to beat him first round, so I'm not even going to try. I'm going to try and get like a routine going. There we go. So he's gotten rid of the competition, but now he belongs to me. Simple. I've got the energy tank, I've got the pattern down. Let's go for it. He evaded me twice. All right, refill, and let's go for it. Alright, I missed the beat on the first one there. There's that weird animation. The freeze cracker fires ice bullets, doesn't it? Freeze cracker, that sounds racist. Uh, we can play it on when you're on uh, Roblox if you want. Absolutely. Like I said, this uh, Saturday, I think Friday or Saturday, one or the other. I'll do like a Discord vote kind of thing and I'll see what people are up for. And if they want, I'll either play Tetris or Roblox, either way. Uh, I'll give you guys the choice. All right, this level is... Oh! Cockroaches with machine guns. There we go. Uh, what time is it right now? Where you are? I could have actually use that opportunity to get some money together. 9.38 p.m. Wait, what? Wait a minute. We're in the same time zone. 
Ah, you're in Britain. I forgot. My bad. Oh, look at these evasive maneuvers. That was that was sweet. Ah, I think I can switch like this. That's how we do it. Oh, nice. There is nothing to play on Roblox, or there is nothing to play on Roblox? Or how, how did you mean that? I think I have to jump on these. Ah, nothing to play. Ah, how, how, do, how do you mean? I thought I thought you just mentioned that there were a couple of good games. Right, I'm actually close to getting my my uh, my super armor. I don't need to keep switching, I can just go like this and go on through. Da -da -da -da. Da -da -da -da. Yeah, but it takes too long to finish the tower defense game. But isn't that like part of the fun? Oh! Alright, I'll need to try this again. Isn't that like the whole point? Because tower defense games are never short in any case. They usually require a bit of time. I remember you guys had me playing this tower defense game with aliens or zombies. And it was like, it took like half an hour to complete a level. Mm. Well, if I'm playing earlier on... Uh... Oh, I escaped him. There we go, got them all. Zombie attack, is that what it's called? If so, then I guess that's what it was. It was pretty fun because... I mean, for me, it only makes sense to play Roblox when we're like... 10... Viewers that are all... In the game, you know? Actually enjoying the game. Right. Oh, no! And with that zombie tower defense, I think we we were like, we did two rounds, it was 10 people, and I think a total of eight joined in. And then you had people like Johnny Ace who was there that day, he was like, nah, it's not really my, my cup of tea. Ah, I think I've got it now. There we go. Finally. Let's see if my dog can find anything here. Oh, 
He found something. Oh, go for it, boy. Whoa, 500. My rabbit is making too much noise. Oh, God bless your little rabbit. What's their name? Maybe they've got the zoomies, the nocturnal zoomies, you can play with it. Have you ever put a pencil in front of a rabbit? Like perpendicular? So not the sharp ends, but just the side of the pencil? They'll sometimes throw it around. Mines love doing that. Okay. Oh, that is so sweet. Right, let's see if we can find something for Cookie. Is it female or a male rabbit? Oh, there we go. A little bonus for Cookie. Oh, I don't have any weapons. Oh, that didn't work. That kind of worked. I guess that's one way to complete that section of the game. Ah, uh, not good. Ah. Uh. Let's see if I can jump over here. Oh, this isn't good. Ah, that kind of worked. Oh, wow. Right. I need a rush coil. male rabbit and I chose the name because he looks like a cookie oh that was close Whoa. okay this is not good ah, I got hit in the heel Achilles heel oh, I'm starting all the way back here but I can take the easy way around this time. Well, I thought this was going to be the easy way. I didn't know. Do you take your uh, rabbit out sometimes for walks? I had like a little harness for mines. And I would only take it like when we, back in the day, we had like this little garb kind of thing. That was the only time I would take her, like if I knew she was super safe. Because you never know, eh? Other crazy animals all over the place. The elevator's not working because, yeah, basically. I don't have any electricity superpowers. Ah, she lets him run around in the garden. Oh, that is so cute. I visited a friend recently. And he has two rabbits living under his shed. And his security camera caught the local cat coming into his garden and playing with them. And I was like, you were very lucky there. It's not always the case that they'll play with each other. They're not always known to like each other, right? Alright, let's see if I can jump up here real quick. 
Oh, that was bad. Oh, that worked out. Barely. Barely. I have to pick what it is you're buying. It's not with real money, right? It's with Roblox coins? There we go. This is where I died earlier on. Ooh. Oh, it was so close to the end as well. Sniff, sniff, sniff. Ruff, ruff, ruff. It's a tycoon. Ah, all right. Oh, banana skin. Okay, I, I didn't need that. My dog isn't really useful, to be honest. Let's see what he finds. Yeah, I don't think I need that. Right, how are we? For lice. I think the freeze gun works on this enemy. So basically what I mean by that is it will help me win the match faster. <clears throat> We're going to find out how accurate I was. Oh, he's, he's big and strong, man. No, doesn't really help. I think electricity would have been better here. But he does have an easy pattern. Right. So I see the next floor. Build the next floor. You can always add tables later on. You can probably add the next floor later on as well, but. Right, let me beat him the classical way. Let's go. Where is he coming from? Oh, that's an OP weapon though. Oh, mistake there. Doing not bad. Rocket O'Sullivan says, What's up? How's it going, Rocket O'Sullivan? How are you today, my friend? And I am making a Hawaiian pizza. So that's the, the pizza with the the pineapple on it. Is is that right? God, everyone, every time somebody talks about food on my streams, I start getting hungry. Right. So I've got this freeze thing. I think I can use it against this guy then. Oh, enjoy, enjoy. I had pizza three times in a row last week. Uber Eats gave me free vouchers, so I just kept getting pizzas. Vegan pizzas. And I was sharing them with my uh, team. And they were like, oh my god, vegan pizzas are actually tasty. And there's this one woman who's lactose intolerant. She's like, I can't eat that. And I says, it's vegan. Chill, chill, relax. Don't need to worry. It's all good. And then she ate it and she was like, oh my god. Why is it so good? Right, let me see if I can get up there. That is a bit 
hard to do. Oh yes! There you go, that was for Rocket Sullivan. Oh! And that was that was for me just being bad. Terrible at this game. Right. Um Do I want to experiment with anything here? No, I'm good. Oh, almost had it. I cannot believe I just done that. That was stupidity at the highest level. Alright, let's keep it simple. Let's let's run through this game the way it was intended. Who came back down on the pizza? Who, ah, who came back down on pizza? Sorry, I read that wrong. This uh, restream chat that I have, it doesn't always make sense to me. So I have to look at the, the, the YouTube version of the chat that I also have opened up. There's a life up there. That fish looked cool as hell, eh? Alright, let's go here. And jump. Nice. Did you find the secret path in the junk stage with Freeze Cracker? Rocket, my man, he knows his stuff. Yeah, I did. I've actually, if you look here, I'll show you what I've got thus far. So I got the H in using the the secret path. So you know about this game. I'm trying to remember all the secrets and trying to explore the game like I did when back in the day when it first came out. And I remember the secrets here were easier to find than like for example in Zelda. I mean, it's a platformer, right? This one's a classic platformer. But yeah, I sure love chasing those secrets. Ah, I mistimed that jump. I'm playing it. I'm playing at 60 frames per second, so I don't actually have an excuse for all the damage I'm taking. I sure do. Ah. I love it when I find a fellow Mega Man head. I stream a lot of games, and Mega Man's probably the one that people know least about in regards to, like, the kind of people that I stream to. And it's not because they hate it or anything, it's just they've never heard of it or they've never played it. But it's one of my favourite franchises. And I love the work that Capcom done with, with the music throughout the franchise. Uh, are you, by any chance, a mega head? Do you know your way around all the games from, from 1 to 11? Have you played them all? Oh, I wanted to see if Search can find anything here. I was just curious about this area. Uh, is he going to dig up a banana peel? Oh, well, okay. It's better than nothing. Oh, forgot to activate my, my buster. Random stuff says, I love when games have secrets. Yeah, I remember when... When um, I played Mario World for the first time. PlayStation was already out. But I ended up playing... Uh, like, revisiting a classic. Everyone said, that's the classic game you should be playing. 
and then I gave it a try and it was like wow and every secret meant something in that game it's just pretty cool I've never played 8 or 11 Uh, same by far Just had it in suggestions. Uh, you mean what you mean the stream was suggested to you or uh, Do you mean the game itself I Didn't play 8 nor 11. Well, let me tell you something. I Recently that was the first game I ever streamed two years ago was 11 And I was super excited about it. I played it Graphically, looks amazing. The levels are clean cut. They're superb. The graphics are good. The, the movement is great. But it just has the most horrible soundtrack ever. The levels are a little bit too long and repetitive. And it doesn't really let you like speed run, speed run, speed run the way a Mega Man game should be sped run. Lore about Kareem, huh? What's happening now? And 8... I played 8 once. My favourite is 8.5, which is Rockman and Bass. That's a pretty uh, cool game. Oh, yeah, the stream, since I watch a lot of Mega Man videos. Wow, that's probably the first time since I was Shadow Band that somebody has... <laughs> has received this as a suggestion. That's 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 nice to hear. Well, hope oh, you're not all too disappointed. There we go. Oh. Oh, nice. Oh, got him. Ah. Oh, don't. Uh, no, 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 no. Ah. Ah. Oh, I forgot how to sh change my way. Oh, I did it. Oh, my goodness. That was too much for my... my my poor tender heart. Oh, I forgot how to change my weapons there for a second. Yeah, 11 could have been done so much better and they, they should have put like so much more effort into the, the soundtrack. And some of the best speedrunners in the world were complaining that the game doesn't really give you all that. I mean, there is a cool thing where you can dart Mega Man through the air. But it just takes so much energy. Like, the weapons aren't that well balanced. They're kind of broken, but in the opposite sense of how Metal Man's weapon is broken in Mega Man 2. Um, yeah, the stream sense it. Uh, love seeing Mega Man speedruns. Yeah, I used to speedrun Mega Man 2. I could do it under 40 minutes, but nothing too special. Cool Kid and CFGVR are amazing. C-Y-G-H-T-E-F-E-R. -C -E that name, that's a name, right? That's a, that's a Twitch streamer. Or are these games? God, I've been, I've been, I'm probably just talking a load of rubbish but as far as I know that's a that's a a, a, a streamer is he a ah right so on the topic of speed runs is he a speedrunner or a Mega Man speedrunner um Arctum Silver says I have beat them all I think my my favorite is Legends or Mega Man 8 wow Mega Man 8 is quite the unpopular opinion in regards to how many Mega Man people I've spoken to. But 
It depends on which game you had the most fun playing, that's irrelevant. But he is not family friendly. Wolfie plays. Ah, don't worry, you're in the right place. We're family friendly, at least for this stream. Not when we do the uh, Dead by Daylight stream, eh? Arctum Silver. Uh, yeah, ultimately, it all comes down to... It's, everything's irrelevant. It comes down to how much you enjoy the game. It's up to you. If you think Mega Man 8 or Mega Man 0 or a fan-made Mega Man game is the best game you've ever played, then that's what it is. For me, the soundtrack is just amazing. I love how Japanese the game is. Yeah, oh listen! I love playing Mega Man 11 in Japanese. That is so much fun. Mr. Saifuke, I can't pronounce that name, but yeah, I think I've seen him on Twitch. So when I started streaming, doing like research and stuff like that, for Mega Man. Uh, it seems that he was the the main guy, right? Remember DVD a long time ago? Uh, I'm surprised it's still getting updates uh, till this day. Oh yeah! My least favourite would be Mega Man 6. I've only ever played Mega Man 6 and Mega Man 5 once. And that was when I was doing like this kind of... Like playthrough, I guess. I had two days off of work. So I was trying out every Mega Man game. Rockman in base is still my favourite. I even have my screen... Um, my, my screen background. What's it called? Screen background, right? Is uh, Rockman in base. I... I'd ordered an original copy from Japan, but then it was cancelled because the guy who was selling it says it, it's broke, it doesn't work. So he wouldn't sell it, and I says I would still buy it off you so I have the original cartridge. And he was like, no, apparently in Amazon Japan, they don't do that. Ah, wait, okay, the Huntress. Ah, right, now I got you. I had to read that twice. I wasn't completely following you. The Huntress as in the, the killer from Dead by Daylight. Right, let me see. Let me time this. This is similar to Mega Man 2, Air Man's label. That's also a classic. Oh, I love Mega Man 2. Fun fact, Mega Man is blue because it was the easiest colour palette to get a hold of. Right, wait, I think there was a trick here. No. No, no, it was the electricity. Okay, I'm going to take a leap of faith here. There we go. If I have the electricity, it will attach itself to the... There we go. Aha! Uh -huh. See that up there? I think that is, if I remember correctly, there's something heading up there. What? How? How? I don't know what just happened there. But that was not planned, obviously. Alright, so there's clear weathers now. Clear skies. Let's see if this helps. Mega Man 10, I remember playing Mega Man 10. Uh, Arctum Silver, in case you're still here. So I tried to get to Japan for over the course of like five years and it never worked out, right? It was like literally earthquakes and lost my job and moved house and. So there was always a reason not to go. And then finally when I booked my flight about six years ago, 
five years ago. I finally made it there. And... Oh, I can jump on that platform. All right. And then uh, I played some of the levels and they're so Japanese, like, right? They're, like literally like in Japan in the city, the baseball stadiums and whatnot. There we go, it worked this time. And, oh, and I remember playing it. And then three months later, I was actually in Japan. So that's why that has like a soft spot. Oh, I knew there was some, ah, hey. That's why it's uh, like a soft spot for me. All right, I think I can do my upgrade now. Um, fun fact, do you know which country Mega Man 5 was banned and why? I think I do. Was it Saudi Arabia? Right, hold on. Ah, oh God, I love a good Mega Man fact. I love gaming facts, any kind of gaming facts, but let me just try and remember. Um, was it something to do with oil? Or was that Sonic? Ah, uh, here's the adapter. Alright, I give up, you tell me. Here we go. Alright, let's deal with these betas. Look at that. Boom. Easy peasy, Japanese. Oh, you're reappearing? Let's go for it. Right, Mega Man 10 is dope as hell. Yeah. Oh, you know what I like? I like Mega Man 9. And, uh... Oh, I follow the speedrunner. Who... Oh, he can't, he can't slide when he has this armor on. Uh, I follow the speedrunner who broke the world record with bass playing Mega Man 10 and Proto Man. In Vietnam because of Nepal Man. Oh, I knew that. I knew that and I forgot it. Oh man, that is crazy. It's been a while, Mega Man. Kareem, I'm going to bed. Have a good stream. Or have a good rest of your day, rather. Random, thanks for joining. I'll try and get that uh, Roblox stream done on Friday. I'll let you know in the Discord. So guys, anyone who wants to join the Discord is more than welcome. It's uh, child friendly. And there I announced the streams. And I think this time around on Friday we're going to be doing a Roblox stream. So, uh, random, thanks once again for joining. Get a good night's rest and have fun at school tomorrow, eh? Poor guy has to go to school tomorrow. I'm off sick. That poor guy has to go to school. He doesn't get to take a sick day. Say hi to Cookie. Your rabbit. Here's a little information. I don't know why I'm giving them American accents, but okay. Your weapons can be used to discover hidden areas. Try and using the flame weapon in the woods. That's not very responsible, to be honest. He's kind of a psychopath. All right. Uh, did you play the fan game Mega Man? Unlimited. If I did, it must have been a while back. I played a couple of fan games. One um, that was super hard, like extremely hard. One where he fights other Capcom opponents like Ryu and Blanca. Oh, that's a bomb. Get away from that. Uh, but Mega Man Unlimited? I'm trying to think. I mean, this is the first Mega Man game I've touched, like, in two years. Mm. 
Mega Man Whoa. Unlimited. Am I on a spaceship, by the way? What level is this? Oh, this is reminiscent of Airman and Woodman's levels. Oh, perfect timing there. Cloud? Mm. Ah, it's Cloudman's level, okay. Right, I was just thinking to myself, when did I enter a spaceship? I'm just thinking because the, the clouds in the background are moving so fast. Alright, what have you got for me, boy? Okay, absolutely useless. Alright, let's see. Um, I think this... Tornado Man stage is the worst. Was it the bubble thing? Yeah, I think it was. Ah, oh, there we go. Oh, this is OP, eh? This guy is useless. What? But I think he's super hard without it, right? If I remember correctly. Oh, that was easy. Da -da -da -da. What's your favourite Mega Man level of all time? And what's your favourite Mega Man music piece of music of all time? Yes, it can also be used to power some electronic machines. Uh, you get Thunderbolt. Right, let's see. I think the additional four characters will show up. Ah, no, I have to play... Hmm... Let me go here and buy something first. Woman's Melody is one of my top three of all time. I'm glad you're back. Select the item you want made. Alright, let's see. We'll take a couple of them. Oh, I should have taken the exit tool. There we go. Nice. Oh well, nothing we can do now. We'll take that. Okay, I'll find beat. Mm, a weapons charger, let's take one of them. Alright. So long, Mega Man. Wait. Uh... Totally messed up now, haven't I? Oh, four. Oh, well, wait, it might may not be that bad. Mega Man 2, yes. Mega Man 2, one of the best soundtracks of all time. It was amazing what they did with a 8 bit sound system. Let's see if I can uncover any secrets. Now I'm a lot more confident I can kind of speed run through this. Not the most gracious speed run, I know. Ah, 
I wanted to jump right between all the uh, bullets there. So now I have to finish this or I have to dial it three times after buying. That's so stupid. Actually, you know what? Let me just die and get out of here. Or wait, can I do stage select? This is a special edition. Let me see if I can do... Alright, let's save. And... Ah, load checkpoint. Okay, so I can't go back to the main title. I thought I had beaten four guys already. Oh yeah, I wanted to die. There we go. Sparkman um, is Mega Man... Yeah, yeah. Mega Man 3 is also pretty good. Shadow Man's level is awesome. Snake Man. I loved Snake Man's uh, level. So out of this world. Okay, I'm just realizing that Junk Man hasn't been defeated yet. That was my bad. I completely messed up there. So now we've got the adapter. Let's play with the adapter. Let's let's make good use of it. I wish I could do that with my cats. That would be freaking awesome. Oh, one hat. Was that olives? Alright, this is going to be interesting. Nice. As a stage, maybe Ringman. Wasn't Ringman like the one that was like out of space? To be fair, Mega Man 11 has two cool stages Tundra Man and. Oh, I thought I could go in there. Uh, there was like a bubble-like opponent. I forget who it was. Um, Sparkman Mega Man 3. What's the equivalent of Sparkman in Mega Man 10? There's one opponent he has like same type of abilities, right? Ah, there we go. Oh, that was a waste. Oh, it goes up this way this time. Aha, here we go. Hopefully I don't get crushed. I got crushed. Fuse man. That's it. Oh man. Yeah, I'm super happy that I found a fellow Mega Head. I also did a stop motion animation as a thank you to like my followers or subscribers or friends who come and watch me. And, uh, to be honest, a lot of people didn't know who he was. <laughs> like, I did that little animation and all the voice work and whatnot. I took the audio from Mega Man 11, because Mega Man 11 has good audio. It's great voice acting in that game. For all its faults. I don't know. Like half of the viewers were like, oh, I know that guy. 
Where do I know him from? I was like, that's Mega Man. Hard to find, yeah. It's an acquired taste, right? It's like listening to MF Doom. Like most people are like, ah, oh, okay. Ah, okay, that was, that was. Let's put it on reverse. That was embarrassing. I did everything wrong that you could do wrong. Do you also like uh, live stream Mega Man games or any type of, of games for that matter? Ooh, maybe I set this up wrong. Oh no, I set it up exactly right. Let's see. There's something hidden there, but I forget what it is. I'm sure I was here years ago. Wait, why can't I go up? I could take Rush, but now I'm kind of stubborn that I want to make this jump. If I beat Crash Man's level in Mega Man 2, I can... Oh, okay. <laughs> My patience. Wait, what's going on here? Ah, okay. Oh, nice. Hold on, what is that? To be honest, I'm not sure what that is. Ah. It's a it's, uh, rush jet. Okay, now I remember what it is. I just took a look at your profile pic. Is that... Uh... What's his name, John O'Sullivan? I don't know if Rocket is his, his like nickname, but is that not uh, the, the the snooker player? Oh, hold on. That didn't really help much. Right, now let's see if I can use Rush Jet. Uh, that was, that almost didn't work out. Okay, nothing's working out. Time to get my trusted armor. Okay, that's not working out either. Oh, this is this is bad. <coughs> oh, made it. Why was that such a headache? Uh, let's take the adapter. Ah, Ronnie Sun Sullivan, yeah. Back when I lived in Glasgow, I used to watch him with my uh, grandfather. And there was also one guy called Davis, right? Oh, he can... Almost vertically. Right, what do I need here? I think it was electricity. I might be wrong, but I think electricity. Peter! Oh, hola amigo! Que pasa señor? Como estáis? Oh, yeah. Muy dramático. Mi nombre, el Gagantium. Hombre. Mega Man is uh, Gagantio Hombre, no? Estoy bien. Oh, muy bien, muy bien. Muchas gracias. How are you, Peter? Peter, Peter Griffin. Oh, Peter Griffin has got the the Chihuahua. Is that a Chihuahua? The the dog in the hat um, uh, profile pic. 
Muy bien, muy bien. El guapo. Steve Davis, yeah, in the eighties. <laughs> Peter Griffin. Thankfully, he took he took kindly to that joke. Right, let's see. Dun 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 dun, dun. señor, señor Peter Griffin. Muito obrigado. Ah, é. Uh, Peter, tu, tu brasileiro? Or, or português? Ah, I didn't know. Lo siento, lo siento. Peter's like, that was too funny. Well, what's in a blue moon? I, I land them. What can I say? Alright, let's see. I think now... Peter, do you play this game? Have you ever played it? It's a classic. One of my favourites. Let me just save this checkpoint because there's no guarantee I'm going to get this far next time I play it. And Peter, how's your day been this far? I just read Robot Muslim and I was like, wait, what? They're giving religions to the robots here? And then I, I, I read it again and it said Robot Museum. And I was like, yeah, that would make more sense. Can you imagine like a Jewish robot? Oh, there's Snake Man and there's, um, I think he's in Mega Man 6, right? Pharaoh Man, he was in Mega Man 4, Heat Man, Mega Man 2. <laughs> Hey man, are you going to make any more videos with Tommy Karathis, Axel Stone says. Hi Axel Stone, welcome to the stream. Hope you're doing well my friend. Uh, my friend, I have made a video with... So, if you're familiar with the IFO, you're familiar with our Korean branch. So last year I was in Korea and I was doing a video with oh god i forget forgot his name um i can't pronounce his korean name and i don't want to butcher it but he's in Qianon. so i went to seoul and i was as i was going to busan i stopped over there for a day and i made a video with them and it's currently being edited so that's like a short film that's coming out and they're going to use it for the ifo and for self-defense for police stations in Qianon. So that's a pretty cool thing that we've got going on. Snake, Guts and Heat. Wait, that was Gutman? I'm playing uh, Rise of the Ronin at the moment. I heard that game wasn't wasn't uh, received that well, no? Or wait, no, I'm thinking of the Lone Ronin. Is this Gutsman? That's not Gutsman, is it? Uh, the Korean instructor, that's cool to hear. Yeah, yeah, uh, I forget his name. I'm so sorry. I'll check his name and I'll, I'll get back to you on that. Um, so soy brasiliano, uh, now lembra? I'm Brazilian, no remember? Ah, lo siento. Yo habla poco español. Que me no brasiliano. Uh, no Portuguese. Lo siento, amigo. I'm so sorry. I, I was greeting you in Spanish. <laughs> I'm so sorry. But thankfully you speak English, so I do apologize for that. I don't want to start any, like, arguments. Who's better? Who speaks uh, as, as Portuguese Spanish spoken properly? Or is Portuguese Spanish spoken if you're uneducated? I know that's the joke that a lot of South Americans make. Uh, amongst each other but here we love all races and cultures and countries so i'm not going to get into that but i do apologize for uh for saying uh for for greeting you in spanish my friend teach me some portuguese and uh, and i'll be happy to greet you in uh portuguese benvenido no benvenada benvenido or benvenada uh i like this game but i don't have i don't have a computer Ah, you can get it on any console. Any console you have. It's in the Mega Man um, 
classic collection. Uh, you know what? It's not the best game. It looks like last gen, but it also looks nice. It's really pretty graphics for the countryside. Uh, the trees, etc. Super long and crazy to say. I'm enjoying it. Hey, that's what I said earlier on. If you're enjoying a game, that's the most important thing. Never let anyone tell you otherwise. Uh, more than FF7's rebirth. I felt like after 30 hours, I felt this point. Final Fantasy 7. I played the first four or five Final Fan Ah, wait! Sorry. I have to choose i think it was this by the way fun fact final fantasy is called final fantasy because the production team had given up on being successful with games so they just assumed that this was the last game that they would ever make so they called it our final fantasy our final fantasy to become successful and then it became one of the best selling franchises of all time i love the characters more than the game itself oh oh this that was that that wasn't a good decision that I just made or maybe it was I don't know I think there's also a movie with Alec Baldwin voicing one of the characters but it's not really directly related to the games Oh, I can still shoot at this. I'm such a... a, a noob today. I don't ever remember Gutsman being like this guy. Ooh, that was, that was bad. That was a bad performance. Um, it says you're in Ireland, so are you Irish? I thought you were Scottish. You sound Scottish. Uh, I've confused myself. <laughs> yeah, all right. So, um, basically, I'm a gypsy. So, I'm originally from, uh, our family's originally from Cork in Ireland, but I grew up partially in uh, Glasgow. Uh, I like classic Sonic Frontiers and Sonic and Knuckles. Oh, yeah. Sonic Adventures 2. Ah, that's the game I was talking about earlier on. I've got Sonic Adventures 2 and I tried to um, stream it, but I was having issues with it because on Steam, you can stream it and play it with viewers even if they don't have the game. So that's a pretty cool thing, right? Uh, let me get the bolt ready. Pac-Man, yeah, Pac-Man. I think there's a new Pac-Man game out on Steam, but it's like super overpriced for a game that you can download on your mobile for free. There's an Adam Sandler movie. I think it's Adam Sandler. It's Adam Sandler-esque. Uh, Peter Dinklebottom or whatever his name is. The guy from Game of Thrones. He's in it. And the the creator of Pac-Man is in it. Whilst Pac-Man is attacking all the the humans, he goes to try and reason with them, <laughs> and then he gets eaten by Pac-Man. Sounds like the type of movie Adam Sandler would would come up with. All right, I think I've got this almost. Ah, there we go. Kinda almost just got it. Uh, I'd like to go and train with Tommy. Oops. So for those guys who don't know, uh, there's two like martial arts I training. One is no uh, submission, uh, no gi submission grappling, and the other thing is Jeet Kune Do. And my instructor, Tommy, who's in Scotland, I made some movies with him and posted them on the channel. And I think Axel does Jeet Kune Do as well. Uh, although I've never had the pleasure of uh, meeting Axel in person. 
But I do see he has a, a profile pic of Macho Man Randy Savage. Oh yeah! I like to go and train with Tommy. I'm in the Southwest UK. It's about eight hours uh, from train ride, but I've never seen anyone do Jeet Kune Do like Tommy, like Tommy does. Uh, before I found out about him, I thought it was basically that Bruce Lee mix stuff. How wrong I was. The fact Jesse Glover said that. He said about Tommy as amazing praise. So Jesse Glover was Bruce Lee's uh, first student, if I remember correctly. He definitely the closest person to Bruce Lee's attributes I've ever seen. <laughs> yeah, oh yeah, much of that. Peter says video games from the 80s are incredible, especially uh, the king of old games, DK Donkey Kong. Oh, you know what I love? Donkey Kong Country. And it's actually an Englishman who created the soundtrack for Donkey Kong Country. It is the most beautiful soundtrack ever. On this SNES, I know that's not what you were talking about, um, but still one of my favourites ever. And Rocket O'Sullivan said the soundtrack. Oh, you mean of Final Fantasy? Or uh, Sonic? Both have good soundtracks. Sonic Mania soundtrack was created by YouTubers mostly. And Sonic Mania partially was a, a, an argument of suggestions from the YouTube fan base on uh, regarding Sonic. Uh, Axel Stone, yeah, I couldn't agree more. A lot of people think it's like mixing stuff. In Nogi Submission Grappling, you actually do mix stuff like Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, Judo, um, Sambo, Catch Wrestling, which is my favorite martial art. Um, but Jeet Kune Do is, is pure, it's a get out of death free card. That's what I always call it. I'm going to visit Thomas. I don't know if you know Thomas. I'm going to visit him next week. I look forward to seeing him. And basically, we're going to go through some things for a video that I'll be doing with, doing with him. The thing is, my main priority right now is a charity project that I'd done when I was in uh, Kigali, Rwanda. And I'm still waiting on the okay for the people involved to release oh, to release those videos. But once I get the okay, I'll start focusing on editing the Jeet Kune Do videos. I hope to be, because those are, to be honest, they're quite entertaining. They get a lot of... Uh, uh, interest because everyone's interested in martial arts to some degree. Um, charity is not for everyone, but it's important that it's always done, you know. Um, but yeah, um, only been that so far once up to Newcastle and it was negative. So going that far on my own makes me feel a bit nervous. Oh yeah. Ah, oh, you can go up to Glasgow. Let Tommy know you would be going up to Glasgow. His students will take care of you. They'll pick you up from wherever you are. They'll take you to the training centres. They'll take you out for meals. They, I know Glaswegians can sometimes come across as a bit antisocial because they have that no BS attitude. But they'll they'll welcome you with like open open arms and open heart. Um, no, I meant the last. Uh, Mega Man 7 stage, the lab. Oh, that! The lab is for me. So, the lab I was fighting in, or the lab where I visited Dr. Wiley, because that Dr. Wiley thing is. Uh, uh, Dr. Light. I don't like that Dr. Um, uh, Dr. Light stage. Uh, that, that music is too jumpy for me. A mix between guts, snake, and heat. Oh man, Heat Man is, is a headache. I know Thomas, yes. I speak to him frequently, been a subscriber for a few years now. Ah, you comment on his videos sometimes, don't you? Uh, Peter says, Scott Cawthon was the king of games from the 2000s while Donkey Kong was the king of old games and Mario was the prince and Freddy from Five Nights was a Scott Cawthon's prince. I have a, a subscriber called Scott Cathwin. He always claims to be him, the creator of Five Nights at Freddy, but <laughs> he's not. <laughs> I don't think he is. Uh, Red Mask says, what are we talking about? Martial arts? Red, Ma Red Mask doesn't need any introduction, guys. Any conversation 
he'll just jump in and he feels right at home. And you don't want to catch his hands, man. Red Mask was in... Where were you? In Las Vegas, Nevada, partying with all the, the police women that, <laughs> that were arresting you? You looked like you were having a good time. How are you, my brother? Hope you're doing well. Hope you're blessed. So, guys, for those of you that like stop-motion animation, this is the guy who always influenced me. Go and check out his channel. Give him a sub. Give him a little like. Follow him. He has one of the coolest Batman animations. The Batman... Uh, Tim Burton's Batman. Which is so freaking cool. Oh, let me just... Uh, Catch up in the chat real quick. You do a great match for Madam Presh. Yeah, when you're under narcotics, I think one can do better. Uh, um, but yeah, uh, I asked uh, to Tommy this, and Thomas had him on a live stream about meeting me at the train station. Tommy was very kind, said he would meet me there, uh, which was very nice. Oh yeah, he'll show you around Glasgow. If I'm in Glasgow, same thing. Whenever you're there, just let me know. Uh, my name is from Streets of Rage. Ah, that I recognise that. Axel Stone. Hey, Red Mask. Red Mask might have already caught on to that. He's a big uh, Streets of Rage fan. Uh, the blonde guy with jeans. Uh, I do. Yeah, I think I get a bit fed up with all the silly stuff you read on YouTube about Jeet Kune Do and stuff like that. I uh, shouldn't let it get to me sometimes. Oh, just ignore all the hate. Trust me. I'm literally in an MMA studio where everyone knows how to fight. And when I show them videos of Tommy, they're like, wow, that's like street stuff. You can't use that here. And these guys are trained fighters. And then you've got people on YouTube just behind keyboards, just like challenging everybody, just wanting violence and, you know, don't want to be held accountable to it. So that's why I just don't pay attention to, to all of that. Just ignore uh, it was a hell of a time. I'm great. How are you? That's great here, my friend. Many martial artists were inspired by things. For example, Scott Cawthorn was inspired by real pizzeria and anime characters. Uh, especially Akira were inspired by the creators of Dragon Ball. Hey, you know that Five Nights at Freddy is actually a real animatronic in real life that used to do calculations and stare at people as they walked by. They had to close down the restaurant because it was freaking people out. It, it was red-headed like me, so that was already a reason to, to to freak people out. Axel Stone said, subscribe to Red Mask Animation. Oh, that's cool, man. Thanks, Axel. Uh, subbed back to you, Axel. Look at that. The love is being spread. Got to play some Sonic this weekend. Who, you, me, us? Let's do it, my friend. Anytime, anytime. All right, so I do apologize if I don't get every... Ah, 3D? Hey, count me in. Uh, I'm, I do apologize if I don't get every, any, every comment in order to, to, to play the game. Ah, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Raphael, how's it going, my friend? Haven't seen you in a while. How are you doing? Hope you are blessed. Hope life is treating you. Oh. Hope life is treating you better than this spring level is treating me. Good to see you. Guys, for those of you who are in my Discord, or are not in my Discord, I'm going to paste the link in a second. You of our course uh, welcome to join. It's child friendly and we just talk about games mainly. But. If you have a gaming channel or animation channel, you can promote your stuff there once a week. It's of course free to join. Sometimes we just spend time laughing at how bad I am at games. Uh, I got my Steam account back. Wait, what happened to it? Runa had some major issues. He got like a... Uh, he got like some Russian bot oh was hacking his his steam account and then he was trying to sell people stuff oh 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 ah, it's like walking over hot coal 
Uh, I forgot my password. Oh, that ain't that bad. Who hasn't, right? Who hasn't? Uh, next week, a new Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle 2012 arcade game is coming out. It was originally in the arcades for some time, and now it's on home console. Wait, is that the one that was also on Sega's console for a short period of time? I recently got a game that's... Oh, I missed the last part of there. Is this dog going to do anything useful? Look, he's like me after eating pizza. Alright. Let me do the coil thing here. Ah, ba boom. Right. Don't need you. I've got this. Okay, maybe I do need him. God, that was embarrassing. You sing, uh, Peter. Can you sing "Crushing in Thirties"? I don't know that song. Crushing in the 30s. Who's that by? Or did I read that wrong? Hold on, I'll need to press... Uh, oh, I think I can go down this way, can't I? What happens if I touch that? Oh, do not touch that. Ah, it's just an alternative way to go. Right. Okay, I need, I need a weapon. Otherwise, this is going to be short-lived. Quite the beautiful level, though. Ah, uh, you know what? Let's make this simpler. It's time to adapt. Okay, that's not how I... Ah, okay, that's, that's how I planned this. Hey, react to a Macho Man promo, like the one where he does the cream of the crop and you say you don't know where the Macho Man is coming from. Ah, I, d I reacted to a Macho Man video, uh, I think it was a year ago, WWF's most sus moments. And there was a lot of sus moments with the Macho Man. Right, hold on. I am just going to copy this invite because the bot is not doing this. So I have to do this. And that's for all everyone who doesn't have it who wants to join. So there we go. So anyone who wants to join the Discord is more than welcome to. Oh, this will give me a second to quickly uh, uh, catch up. Um, yeah, Sega are remaking and modernizing a lot of their back catalogue, like Golden Axe, Streets of Rage, Crazy Taxi. It's so unfortunate that Sega doesn't make consoles anymore. And that was all because of two bad decisions, like, 15 years ago. But thankfully, they still make games. I played Yakuza for the first time a couple of days ago. It was fun. Um, and I loved the Shinobi series. They were hard, but they were good. Um, can you sing Crushing in 30s? Uh, I, can't, I can't sing at all, to be honest. I mean, I can try. If you want me to make a film myself, I can try. Sorry, Axel, I thought... Um, he was talking about TMT. Oh yeah, I was. There's uh, someone who's called Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Raphael who said hello earlier on. And they got their Steam account back. They're big Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles fans. Uh, if you can't, try singing Live and Learn made by Crush40, known as the singer of Sonic's budget song. Where are all these songs coming from? I don't know them. I need to do like a live reaction to them. Um, you're right, you don't know anything about the Macho Man. In the Cream of the Crop promo, you can see Macho Man reach for his glasses and uh, that aren't there <laughs> to decide hell. <laughs> There's that moment where he's talking to Mean Gene and then he's just like, ooh, yeah. And then he just like clocks out for three, four seconds. Cup of coffee, man cup of coffee yeah and then he just goes crazy and then walks off screen like up to this day i don't know how many coffees he drank and what he put in the coffees but yeah uh i like yakuza as well but i've only finished yakuza 3 oh uh, yeah i just recently played uh yakuza what, what game was that 
Ah, I don't know. Playing it again, I think, this weekend. Everyone in the Discord was like fans of that game, and I was like, I didn't know. It was the worst stream statistically I ever had, viewer wise. So I thought, ah, maybe people don't like the game. Oh, that is that is painful when that happens. Right, let me try and get back up. Oh, that is so... Oh, I hate this. I truly hate it when that happens. Nothing worse than starting back from the beginning. Oh, maybe I can cheat here. You all know me, I like to cheat. And I'm not one of those people that say, No, cheating is not good. No, I will cheat as much as I can. There we go. You think I care? I care about anybody's feelings. If I can get away with it. And if you catch me, I'm like, yeah. I did. I did do that. Oh, I think there's a secret pathway there. Can't wait for the last Ronin game. Oh, somebody was talking about that earlier. I think it was Axel. I thought I still like a, a lot of it. The original 80s cartoon is great, and even those, uh, the live action films, uh, they weren't amazing, I enjoyed them. Ah, you mean, um, uh, Ninja Turtles? Ah, now I see, I love the Ninja Turtles. They are making the last Ronin game based on the comic run. It's going to be like 18 rated, which is nice, because most turtle stuff now isn't for people, uh, our age range, range, range even. Yeah, it's like uh, eight-year-old, nine-year-old friendly kind of stuff, right? If you gotta cheat, you gotta do it. Uh, uh, you gotta do what you gotta do, as uh, Rich Piana said, whatever it takes. Yeah, that was the Avengers also saying that. Who am I to argue with the Avengers? I'm not gonna argue with the Avengers. Right, that's not working. Let's see. T-Ball? That's not working. Ah! <laughs> right, that last comment. Let's not read that. It's historically inaccurate. Yeah, I was having a bad day. Ah, now I get it. Right. Right, I think I need to move this guy around. There we go. I love the original moves. The first is gold. Ah, nice. Okay, don't die here. Ah, one job. Not to die. Yeah, I remember that, that stream. Let's just say uh, my controls weren't working. Hey, but you see? I got the job done at the end. I mean, it was with cheating. Do I even need this, by the way? I don't really think it's a necessity. Oh, nice. Okay. Right, now I have to detach. Right, now I'm going to show you guys how it's done. Right, watch this. Boom. Right. Use that boxing glove or whatever it was. And now... Oh, how's Cream going to get on the other side? Hey, buddy. How much longer until streaming? We're streaming! We're live! Ultimate Taijutsu, how are you, my friend? Guys, Ultimate, just like, uh, like, oops. Ah! Okay, that was because Ultimate was here and I was excited. So just like Red Mask, a good friend of uh, the channels, he 
does uh, the Walking Dead streams and Tekken streams. So if he's like that, consider checking out his channel. And uh, yeah, I think Ultimate knows that I cheat a lot in games as well, so no need to hide it. We are going to cheat through this here. Ah, ah, there we go. How are you, Ultimate? How's life been? Yes, The Walking Dead. Dude, you know what looks really good? The, wa the Walking Dead Virtual Reality. That game looks amazing. Oh my god, it's so realistic. I played 4D Virtual Reality when I was in Hong Kong. And it was the first and only time I was ever afraid of a game. Because they were like... The, the zombies were like caving in. Oh my god, it was frightening. Uh, life is good. 10 away from a thousand subs. I originally read that as scrubs. But hey, sub scrubs. Who knows if there's much of a difference? Only kidding. Guys, let's help him get to, to a thousand. And then he gets... Uh, I think he can start earning money with YouTube. So let's help him out. Yeah, that first one is the best in my opinion. The fourth one, 2006, I think was awesome too. Doing all good choices first stream. Ah, you've got to be kidding me. Ultimate, that was your fault. Guys, sub to, you know what I want to do? This is what we're going to do to Ultimate. I want everyone to sub to him so he reaches 998. And then we all check our mobiles every hour. And anytime he reaches 999, we unsubscribe so that he stays pending there as long as possible. That was all your fault right now. No, it wasn't, but still. Yeah, that would be very evil. <laughs> and our brother Ultimate is trying to get to a thousand subs for like a month. And he's like, well, what's going on here? Why does everyone keep unsubbing when I reach 999? Uh, I did nothing wrong. That is true. That might be true, perhaps. As a matter of fact, it is true. But because I'm feeling, you know... Michael Scott vibes today. I am not going to take responsibility for my actions. I'm a, I'm a cheater, so what do you expect? Oh, that was lucky. As you can see, the cheating hasn't helped much thus far. There we go. <laughs> I love my behind off 99 subs week <laughs> we're 99 sub shaming <laughs> it's like oh you still got 99 subs oh, that's so weak nah man one thing about ultimate uh, oh hold on let me just save this part here I think I can save this checkpoint uh, one thing about Ultimate, he has a good relationship. <clears throat> what? Hey! Oh, come on, man! Alright, you know what? I don't need that. Sometimes, sometimes you just quite learn to give up in life and walk on. <laughs> Oh man, um, I'm about to head out bro, y'all have a great night, you too my friend. Hey, and don't get arrested by those police women, huh? Or maybe he will try to. Take good care my friend, great to see you again. If I do a Sonic stream on the weekend, I might see you. And guys, don't forget to follow his channel. Really good content on there. Oh, I got punched in the gut. That was for that was for sub shaming. <laughs> for sub shaming ultimate earlier on. <laughs> Trying to keep him at 999. 
It's like in jail, giving somebody a cigarette, papers, an ashtray, but no lighter. And they're like, are you kidding me? Right, let's see. Winston Gordon says, yo, hey Winston. How you been, my friend? Hopefully you're doing well. Thank you for joining. All right, let's see. We've got a little thing there. Let's continue. Let's call him back. Winston, I don't know if this is the game for you. I don't know if you like this kind of game. But always good to see you nonetheless. Ah, there we go. All right, so... Wait, I forget who I'm fighting. Springman, right? So I think electricity... Junk? Can't believe I missed Yakuza. Nobody saw that stream. Like, nobody. It was, it was statistically the worst stream I ever had. I just assumed nobody liked the game. Or nobody likes me, it can be both. Ooh, this isn't good. Oh, he, he banged my head into the ceiling! Well, that wasn't the weapon to use to beat that guy. That's for sure. Alright. Oh, this soundtrack is so beautiful. Uh, I can do... Look, in the Discord, we can vote on it. And I can do... If that's what you guys want to see, I'll, I'll do uh, Yakuza on the weekend. Oh, are you kidding me? What a complicated enemy. There we go. Super Mario Brothers 2. Dun, 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 dun. What a beautiful soundtrack. This is music, man. This is as good as it gets for a game like this. Alright, do I have fire? No, not really. Got nothing that can create a clear pathway for me. Slash is its weakness. Ah, you mean uh, the last opponent I just faced? Ah, I remember that now. It's all coming back. Right. Look at this weird thing here. Boom. Oh, I kind of feel bad that he didn't make it. These Yoshi-like rejects. They just jump off the cliff. Uh-oh. I almost jumped off the cliff. Alright, let's see what I can find here. I think there's something over there. Is this the right way? Aha! That's the right way. I want to go the wrong way. Alright, it's time to get my booster out. Now I think there are some things hidden in this level where I would need... Oh, this isn't going to end well. Ah! Why am I being so dramatic? Jet. Hope you like ketchup. Oh. Because I'm going to get... Burgered? Are we turning into rush to into a hot dog? Ah, because of the Yoshi's falling to their dooms. Oh, right, that was the un most unnecessary rerouting that I've ever taken in this game. Danger. All right. Oh, yeah, definitely danger. Oh, uh, sixty frames per second. Okay, here we are. Let's go. Are you kidding me? Alright, third time's a charm. To be honest, 
dying there three times would just be stupid. Alright, that was the perfect angle. Oh, nice. Because of the slash fight. Ah, yeah! Oh my god, these references are making sense, but only like 30 seconds after I've been explained as to why. Dun dun. Right, come on. Come on, bring the goodies. Come on, good doggy, good doggy. Yes! Didn't really need that, but okay, we'll take it. Uh, no one Macho Man videos, there's a comment that says, Rumor has it that Macho Man once tested positive for traces of blood in his... That's 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 very accurate uh, as far as Macho Man's lore is concerned. Uh, just so you know, I'm going to uh, remove that uh, comment. It has the C word in it, Axel. Just because, like, um, some kids might be watching, right? Just in case. So nothing against you. I completely agree with that sentiment. And um, yeah, to be honest, that, that that's very accurate. Oh yeah! Now there's something hidden here. Oh, this, that was a bad idea. That was not good. Okay. Right, is there any other weapon that's like half as good? Oh, he got stung, right? Alright. Oh! He found something! Okay. Ah! It's up the tree! Okay, yeah. Now I got it. Coil. Ah. Let me, let me get rid of those gnarly little pesky things. There we go. Right, let's see if we can do it now. I'll need to come back here with turbo weapon. Ah, so there's no way to do it without... I understood. Right, okay. Come back later. Oh, right. well, there's a giant egg. Don't think he's celebrating Easter. Let's see what's happening here. There we go. I don't even want it. Oh, god, that's scary looking. All right, let's see what Doctor Wily has in store. I'm just going to take a, a zip of water as I prepare for the battle at hand. Ah! Oh. Alright, I'm quickly going to get a manicure and a back rub because all these things are very important before you battle a crazy robot. So, let's see. What do I have that could beat this guy? Oh, I think Slash? No. Was Slash his weakness? Ah, I think I'm going to try the Junk Shield and Ice! Ice! I think it's Ice. Because Ice can kind of... Oh no, that wasn't Ice. All right, that's that's okay. That's okay. Oh no, that wasn't okay. <laughs> All right, so let's see. Uh, for him, I'm going to need. I remember I need like coily things. So I need beat coil man. So this guy, I this is the guy I have to beat next. Right, let's see. Oh, by the way, Axel, just on a, a side note, do you, do you practice yourself or do you practice with your friends? JKD, that is. Hold on. Uh, let's see. All 
Okay, that was a waste of a weapon. I oh, know that's not working either. At least that protected me. Oh, there we go. That's nice. Ah, that was... Right, let me switch to junk. Junk mail! Okay, there we go. That's how it's done, ladies and gentlemen. I got lucky doing that, by the way. Are you kidding me? Come on! Ah, <sighs> right, junk mail. You know what? I'm not going to waste everyone's time. I know what you're thinking. Is he really choosing that for that portion of the level? Yeah, natural born cheater. Ugh. That was not what I wanted to press. Uh, let's see. No junk shield left. Okay, let's do this the old-fashioned way, X-Buster style. Nice. Okay. Alright, I passed those portions without getting hit. Which is not something that's guaranteed with me. Right. Yoshi reject. Hup. There we go. Oh, they only need one shot, so I can just shoot continuously. So there was no reason to continue. Or was there? Let me just check. No, there actually wasn't. Oh, now, I've, now I'm dealing with that guy again. Right. Saving. Oh, he's speeding up. He must be getting angry. Right. It's, I thought towards Bees, that guy's doing absolutely nothing. Nice, got a bit extra money there. Right, so I've made it to the final boss. Mm, not good. There we go. Let's see if that dog of mine's is useful for anything. Right. Aha! Uh -huh. Come on. <sighs> Useless canine. No, I'm only kidding, I love dogs. Right. Oh. There we go. Oh, nice! Oh! Oh, 
Oh, this is tight. Oh, nice. Ah, no, no. Got him. Oof. Barely, barely got him. All right, Slash Claw. Now I need that for the vampire, if I'm not... No, wait, not the vampire. The guy who I faced before. The vampire's level has a secret. I th it has two secrets, as a matter of fact. No, actually, three. Protoman Shield. Um, something else. And Music. You can switch the soundtracks. So let's do... I think I've got the weapon that I need for this guy. And then this guy. And then it's that guy. And then that guy. So Turbo Man would be the last. Right, let's see. I'm warmed up here. Ultimate Taijutsu is no longer in the stream, so that might mean I have a fighting chance. <laughs> oh my kidding. It was not his fault. Obviously it's my fault if I'm playing like this, right? But that's okay, I get to restart with three lives, so let's go. I think this game also offers you spike immunity. I know it does in Mega Man 11. Ultimate is like, I'm here. Ah, darn it. Can't even talk behind people's backs without them finding out these days. <laughs> you know what we'll do, Ultimate? On Saturday, I'm going to try and prep like this somewhat big stream a Yakuza stream if that's what the people vote for on Discord and there is where we're going to try and get you your missing subscribers you'll either lose half of your subscribers or you will gain an additional 10 subscribers. Oh! There we go, that was worth it. Yeah, but either way, we'll somehow make sure that you get your 10 subscribers. Man, I can remember when you started out and it was... I think I first met you, you were 150 subscribers. And as you know, I've never, like, really been bothered with that kind of thing, but I know that you've kind of, like, made a goal to become monetized in YouTube, and I respect that completely. Like, the effort that you've put in and, you know, catering to your craft, as they say. And it's it's all going to pay off. But that's, that's what, uh, that's when the journey starts, right? Let's see if I can let that little guy explode. And by the way, I've been demonetized four times on YouTube. Four times. Last time was for using my own content. So YouTube is, is uh, you always need a backup plan, right? And there's no lawyer in the world that's going to support someone if they get demonetized from, from YouTube. It's like, well, it's their platform. They can do whatever they want. But 
you're on the right path and I know you'll do well. And we have our Tekken stream to do. Now that I have Tekken 7, I just need to install it. After Tekken 8's came out as well. Right, was there something hidden here? Let's see. Mm -hmm. God damn it. Let's see if there's something hidden here. Is manga, Winston says. Meaning? Oh, that's a cool watch. That looks like a Mega Man watch. I would totally wear that. Ah, is Mega Man your favourite? Yeah, I'd say it's probably one of my, my most favourite games of all time. Mega Man 2, Mega Man 7. Rock Man and Bass. Ooh. A fun platformer, really. Uh, I've got, I've got his pattern down. Although I do have to be careful, right? If I get one more hat, that's me. He reminds me a bit of top, like. Top Man from Mega Man 3? There we go. Um, Winston, are you a Yakuza fan? Because I'm thinking about streaming it on Saturday. That's what everyone wants, of course. The Wild Coil. Wild coil launches one coil forward and one coil backward, right? Alright, Nikola Tesla, thank you. We don't need to know how coil coils work. We just need to go and fight vampires. I do like Yakuza. So, the Yakuza game that I have, let me check it out for you. I'll tell you in a second which one it is. It's called Yakuza Like a Dragon. Pretty cool darn game, pretty darn cool game if you ask me. Um. But I just thought nobody liked it. So I says, ah, I'm not going to play it anymore. Because I can kind of live without it. But then everyone was like, oh, I missed the Yakuza stream. And I was like, was that important? These guys know this game? And they're like, yeah, 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 yeah. And I was like, okay, okay, okay. Let's do it. So, yeah. Hopefully this uh, Saturday we can we can play it. And I'll be streaming a little bit earlier from now on. And then hopefully I can stream a little bit longer. Alright, it's time to attack the vampire. That's the one with Ichiban. Doesn't Ichiban mean 11? Ichi's 1, right? Is this the ghouls and... Ghosts and Ghouls? Soundtrack? No, I don't think it is. Look at that guy's face. I'm at the top right there. He has one of those chins you want to punch. I didn't know ghouls and goblins was created by uh, Capcom. 
So, we don't want to get on any zombie snares. Oh, that was easy. Dun, 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 dun. That means number one. Ah, all right. Ichiban Records was who Clarence Carter was signed to. An amazing artist. He was blind like Stevie Wonder and Ray Charles. But it's not as famous as, as the two of them, but I think makes better music. Number one, Ichiban. Right, let's see. Oh, I hate those guys. I don't know if it's a one-shot kill kind of thing with these. And the game explains why Ichiban was named that. Ah! It seems to have a, a well-thought-out story, like... The story was quite masterfully projected. Right, come on, doggy. Oh, God. Jesus. Right, there's two ways to kill this pumpkin. One is through its mouth, one is at the top of its head, I think. And I do believe I should use the tea ball. Oh, that was easy. Right, that's one way to get through, right? Oh! Ah! Oh, nice! Everything connects in the Yakuza games. Wait, what is going on here? Come on! Do I need to do something first? Oh, you again. Sorry about that. Did you miss Proto Man in the cloud stage? To be honest, I think I did. Had I seen him in the, the the that stage, would I have? Would I have access to whatever that was there? The sequel to Yakuza Like a Dragon just came out, actually. The fight mechanics are a little bit unique. Takes a, a while to get used to. Let me see... Uh, junk Shield. The junk shield is OP because you can move with it. And it can take a lot of hits. Right, I'm going to try and get under the enemy. Ugh. Well, at least I got some things.
pathway. That looks like a, a secret pathway up there. Ah, uh, I think when I fight against Pumpkinhead. Darn, I was careless. I feel so stupid to have been defeated so easily. Maybe I should give up and leave Wily to you. No! We are a team. What do you mean we are a team? He hasn't done anything this whole game. Thanks. I'm glad that I have a friend like you. Uh, I don't remember. Should I trust him or should I not trust him? I forget what the, the story arc was here. Right, let me get a uh, coil. There we go. That's going to be easy peasy, it won't take long. Easy peasy or Japanese? I think he can drink my energy. Ooh, that wasn't good. Okay, let's go for it. I like how he greets me. It's very gentleman-like. Hello. Did you come for a bite to eat? Very Dracula-esque. Oh no, not good. Oh, this ain't good. Ah, come on. Mega Man, is that you screaming in pain? Oh, that was easy. Even Mega Man looked round like as if to say, wait, did we win? Ah, the noise crush, that was his weapon. Yes, and you can amplify the wave by absorbing the reflected wave with your body. They have cool weapons here, I do like them. They're quite well balanced. You get noise crush. Right. So I'll give this one round. Let me see, how long have I been streaming for? Right. Oh, almost three hours. Yep. I'll give this one round and then I'll have to call that a day because, oh, it's getting up almost to midnight. Uh, let's see. Time flies when you're, when you're losing against robots, getting beat up by them. Ooh, this is the car, right? That I have to run away from. I like how he changes gears to... Look the way he's sitting there. There we go. Oh, nice.
Oh, I better be careful here. Whew. Those, uh... Tires... They will bounce me back and forth, but I think I need to actually go down here. Hmm... Do I? One of my favorite games is Yakuza O. Oh. Is that the right thing to do right now? I feel it wasn't. Or maybe there was a reason for that I came down here. Aha! Oh, this is going to hurt. A very useless weapon. To be honest, Winston, can't really tell you, give you any opinion other than the Yakuza game I played. So I don't know like what is better or what is worse or how they differ from each other. But I do know that... Uh, I just killed myself. Right. We'll give this... No more tries for today. Instead, what I'm going to do is I'm going to thank everyone who came. So, let me just run through the list of people that had came and dropped by today that came to visit your channel today. So first of all, we have Night Stalker and E and Random Stuff. A big thank you to all three of them. Uh, welcome back, Natalia from uh, Serbia. Rocket O'Sullivan. It was nice uh, meeting a fellow Megahead's acquaintance today. It's not often that I get the chance to meet someone who's uh, as crazy for the game as I am. And Arctum Silver. Ah, I like how Japanese A is. That's what he said early on, and I thought he said this game is. Like, this version of the game. So, my apologies. Uh, Peter, from Brazil. Peter Griffin. Thank you so much for joining. Axel Stone, a.k.a. Macho Man Randy Savage. Thank you as well for joining. It was uh, great re-meeting you. And uh, who else have we got? Red Mask Animations. Good friend of the channels. Make sure to check out his channel. And TMNT Raphael. Thank you as well for popping by earlier on and saying hello. Uh, I feel like I'm missing out on somebody. Ah, Winston Gordon, of course. Can't forget Winston. And, of course, Ultimate Taijutsu. And uh, nice of you guys to support each other, to give each other's follows and, and whatnot. So let me just write in here. Uh, thank you all for joining. Losers. <laughs> nah, I'm only kidding. Only kidding. Thank you all. Thank you all very much. And I'll see you all on Friday, I guess. And eventually on Saturday. There is, once again, the link to the Discord stream. Anybody who wants to join is more than welcome. It's child-friendly. And we talk mostly about gaming on it. Other than that... I wish you all a great rest of your evening or rest of your day, depending on where you are in the world. And I will take my exit. Take good care, guys. See you in the next one.
Ah, finally, finally ended that stream. Oh my god. I don't know why I stream. I hate Arctum Silver so much. And that Winston Gordon, if ever I see him on the street on a bicycle and I'm flying a helicopter on top of a train, I swear to God, I'm going to fly right into... Oh, wait, hold on. Was the microphone still on? Oh, God, I've been caught out again. Guys, thank you so much for joining. Catch you in the next one.